Hey guys, so what am I working on now? Well, I'm actually not working on anything. I'm actually in a junkyard. And uh, check this out. What do we have over here? We have ourselves a barracuda. Barracuda, I don't know what it is yet. Wow, this thing was railed in the rear. Like a 73, judging by the round taillights. It's an automatic car. Everything's gutted on it. Judging by that, I would think this thing was a 340 at some point in its life. Anything still in here? I'm not going to be able to open the hood. Let me see if I can open the hood. Get the hood open, but there is nothing in there. But this could have been a this could have been a 340 Cuda at one point. It's got keystones on it. My least favorite rim. Yeah. So give me a little homage here to uh, Steve Mignani, Steve Mags. And here we have a '73 Duster. Just sitting here. Oops. Now this thing's buried in here. 73. I can't even get around to it right now. But I don't know if there's anything else over here that's worth a mention. Believe it or not, I'm looking for PT Cruiser parts. So nothing too exciting. But this is a backwoods junkyard. And nothing over here I can use. So let me keep uh, searching around. See what I can find. On a boat? Got a couple in there. Looking for another PT. I don't see one though. They said they had a couple. I think that was it though. Dodge Neon, HHR. Let me keep searching around, see what I can find. Unfortunately, nothing in this area. Here's a Jeep pickup truck. I think they call these eliminators if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's an Isuzu. I always like these little pickup trucks, these Isuzus. I cannot find what I'm looking for. There's gotta be another PT Cruiser in this yard somewhere. Alright, let me see what I can find. I'm gonna keep going. And unfortunately, it appears but the two PT Cruisers that I did find were the only ones that they have. So, there are a couple of surprises at the entrance of this yard that I saw that I'm going to hone in on when we leave. But nothing special here. All right. Well, it wasn't a wasted trip. I needed a fuel line, a specific fuel line for the PT Cruiser, and I did find it, so I got that. So I'm happy about that, but I need one tail light too. All right. All right, here we got something interesting. Old T-Bird. Can't read the information there. It's got disc brakes. What is this thing, a 66, 65? I don't know. And then what's that, a uh, Chevelle, like a 65? Hmm, interesting. All right, actually, that's a Nova. Box Nova. I don't know much about those cars, so I couldn't give you years or anything like that. But let's see, what else do we got here? We got something here. What is this, an LTD, maybe? Front bumper reminds me of an LTD, but it could, could be a Buick. I don't know. Yeah, Buick or Chevelle? Can't really tell. <clears throat> oh, it's got three pedals. Was a stick, whatever it was. What was it? Buick, Chevelle, and it was a Chevelle. Look at that. It was a Chevelle. Of course, the door don't open. No trim tags. Interesting, though. All right, let's keep walking. I found this 
stuffed in the woods here. Nice old Ford. I don't know the year. I don't know how to decode that. Pretty cool. Stick shift. Inline six from what I could see. Doesn't look like it's in horrible shape on this side. Or at least a cab doesn't seem to be. The windshield actually looks like it's in nice shape. I know those are hard to get. But yeah, this is uh, you find some interesting stuff in the yards. And this Chevy pickup truck, this must have been somebody's pride and joy at one point. It looked like it was a nice truck. Somebody put some like moon caps on it. This was a nice truck. Man, that Ford got killed. Oof. Looking for some pulleys. I need pulleys for a vehicle. Square body Dodge pickup truck, say 80 ish, roughly. Lots of stuff hanging around here. Here we got an old MGB. It actually doesn't look like it's in terrible shape. Obviously, it's been sitting in the weather for quite a while. Kind of cool. Custom van. If that was a diesel, it'd be worth a lot of money. Of course, this one doesn't have a motor. Well, I'm gonna keep looking. That one lonely, lowly Mustang GT. Now this thing was, everything was taken out of this bad boy. Factory sunroof car. All right, well, there's nothing more down this way. Let's head back. Check out the custom paint job on that one. Whew, all righty, <laughs> interesting. And look, got 410 gears. You can see that over there. That looks like a Nova that somebody's either making into a drag car or it was a drag car. Hmm, interesting. And here, look at that one. The special Deluxe. Flathead 6. Yep, a Flathead 6. What is this thing, a Chevy? No, it's a Plymouth. Oh, okay. Oddball. Pretty cool though. I got an old go-kart. Yeah, this thing's seen better days. Wow. Three on the tree. I always love those old interiors. That's cool. Let's see what else we got around here. Now here we got a Trans Am uh, 1980-ish. Looks like it was involved in a fire. Automatic. Wow, this thing's rotted to death. Look at that. Whew. That's actually not bad. Not bad. Old F100 there. Man, that Trans Am is rotted. Woo! It's like up north rot. But that's pretty cool. Truck is actually not in bad shape. And look how long it's been sitting. The windows are black with mold. Actually, it might not be mold. That might be um, moss. See an old fire truck back there? Oh boy, check that out. And that roof is just gone. The roof blew off. Automatic. Is that a Nova? Yeah, it's a Nova. Here's what's left of an International Scout. Wow, pretty cool. Some older junk on this side too. Man, it's windy. I don't know if it's coming through on the video or not. Something about old fire trucks I've always loved. I don't know what it is. It's an International. Look at that. Door's locked. What do we have for a power plant? Look at that thing. Inline six of some sort. I know nothing about these, so couldn't tell you. But that's pretty cool. That's really cool. And another old T-Bird. I actually like these things. The uh, These are excellent cruisers, let me tell you. The cool thing too is the steering wheel tilts out of your way 
when you put it in park, you can actually take the column and slide it over to the side for easier access in and out. Well, I don't see anything here that I can use for pulleys, unfortunately. All right, another hidden treasure I just found. What is it? Let's see. Gotta walk between these cars. Actually, I could show you the nose. Peekaboo. It's an El Camino. And this thing's not in a horrible shape either. It's got an SS steering wheel. It's got three pedals. It's got the hole in the floor. I don't know if it's actually an SS though. It might just have an SS steering wheel. I know nothing about how to tell. It's got no motor in it. Let's see that. There's a trim tag if anybody can make that out because I got to hold the hood open. Definitely had a small block in it. Got the V8 emblem on it. Doesn't say SS anywhere else, I don't think. So, no. I mean, it's not in terrible shape. There's some really good parts on this, or it'd be a restorable project for somebody. But pretty cool, right? Check that one out. There's another Barracuda. Probably a Slant 6 or a 318 car. It's definitely seen some better days, that's for sure. Ooh, look at this thing. Barracuda by Plymouth. You can see it's an automatic. Door handle's busted off. <laughs> but it's a plain, plain Jane Barracuda. Front end looks like it's actually in pretty darn good shape. Bumper's actually in really nice shape. But anyway, just thought you'd want to see that. Look how look at the rot on the roof from the vinyl top. Wow, that's amazing. All right. Well, that's it. Little junkyard crawl for you guys. Steve Max. All right, guys. That's it for this one. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you could, please subscribe. And uh, give me a thumbs up. All right, guys. Have a great day. Keep wrenching.